Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Bible class. Today, we're celebrating Advent week four. And this time, we're celebrating love. So we'll light the candle, the fourth candle for love. There are many times in the Bible where we are told about God's love. And one of those is in John chapter three, verse 16. And it says, for God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. He gave his only son so that whoever believes in him may not be lost, but have eternal life. God sent Jesus to bring us eternal life. Wherever Jesus went, he showed his love for people. And he told the people that they needed to love each other. His disciples would be known for their love. And Jesus told us that the most, the most important commandments that God ever gave were love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as much as you love yourself. God showed his love for us. He showed us how much he loves us by sending Jesus. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes. But little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love you, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky and stay by my cradle till morning is nigh. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic host proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark, the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn King. Today's craft is about love. We're going to make um, Christmas ornaments, decorations to hang up in your house, and they're about love. And these are made of, they look like cookies, but they're not cookies. They're not to eat. They are made of cinnamon and they smell like cinnamon. So here's what you need. You need some cinnamon, cinnamon. I'm gonna use about a half a cup of cinnamon and you'll need some applesauce, just plain old applesauce. I'm gonna use about a half a cup of that and about a tablespoon of white glue and we're gonna mix that up and make a dough. Okay, so first, we're gonna put in a half a cup of applesauce. Now we're gonna put in a half a cup 
of cinnamon. Now this does not need to be your most expensive jar of cinnamon. Uh, make sure you ask permission before you take your family's cinnamon. This cinnamon is just the cheapest I could find because it's just going to be used to make the dough and it's not to eat. It's just to smell. So I'm going to put about half a cup in here. Now make sure you do not eat this because this would make you sick. It's got way too much cinnamon in it. Okay, now about a tablespoon of glue. Now I'm going to mix it all together. Oops. Now some applesauce is a little bit wetter than others, so if your dough doesn't act like dough, if your dough is too wet, you can add more cinnamon. Just add it until it makes a good dough. Okay, now I'm going to knead my dough with my hands. Make sure it's all mixed up nicely. Okay, now you want to roll out your dough and use some cookie cutters. I've got a heart shaped cookie cutter, but you can use whatever you've got. Even a glass or a jar lid would work, It'd give you a round shape. Okay, so here is my little ornament, and I'm gonna take this little rod here and make a hole in it for the hanger. Now, there's two ways I can make this dry. I can let it set for several days and it can just dry out naturally. Or I can bake it in the oven at 200 degrees for about two hours. 
And after the first hour, you want to turn it over so the bottom side will dry out better. Okay, then once your ornament has dried, you can decorate it. And you can decorate it with frosting or glitter glue or glue and paper. You can paint it however you want to decorate it. And then you can put a ribbon through it and you can hang it on your tree or give it to someone you love. I hope you enjoy making your ornaments. It's always fun to have a gift to give someone. And this gift will help you show your love and it smells really good. Another thing that smells really good to God is prayer. The Bible tells us that our prayers make a fragrant aroma to God. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for your son and for the way that you sent him to show your love for us. Lord, help us to be kind and good to everyone we come in contact with. And thank you again for your son. In your son's holy and precious name. Amen. Thanks for joining us. Hope you have a great week and Merry Christmas.